there was this guy in the gym who said to me, you look great, man. You're mind-blowingly shredded. You got veins popping out everywhere. Now you just gotta build more muscle. <laughs> By the way, never ever comment on other people's bodies. So many people nowadays struggle with eating disorders and body dysmorphia. So, anyways, I said to him, obviously, thanks, but I don't know, man. I've been doing this for a decade now and I, I have probably reached my genetic potential. And he's like, no, you're not. You still have a long way to go. And this is coming from a guy who has done it for 25 years. And now I'm thinking, yeah, he's right. My mindset is completely off. If you think that you can't do it, then be sure that you can't. I still have much space for improvement. I can improve proportions on my delts. I can add more training volume here. I can do a better job with tracking my workouts. My pecs are recovering very fast. I can add some training intensity there. Instead of having three meals, Per day I can push it to 4 meals and eventually 5 protein meals per day. So now there are all these things that I know that I can improve simply because I changed my mindset from being arrogant to being more open-minded. So as long as you can keep making small improvements, you're not done. So I'm reading this book now, it's Think and Grow Rich. It teaches you how to use your mind to turn your desires into reality. I have to read this for you. If you think you are outclassed, you are. You gotta think high to rise. You got to be sure of yourself before you can even win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, but sooner or late the one who wins is the one who thinks he can. If that doesn't get you fired up, I don't know what it does. I hope you enjoyed this small value drop for today. Now, if you want to put that into action, here I've got actionable steps on how to do that. Subscribe and see you there. Bye-bye.